Hi, I'm Representative Deb Eddy. I represent the 48th District, which includes Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland, the Points Communities, and a tiny sliver of Issaquah. Today, I want to talk to you about what we're doing here in Olympia to address environmental issues, or in the parlance of most of you, climate change. This last summer, Representative Hunter and Senator Tom and I were visited by several groups of citizens who, on their own, came together to make a time to come and talk to us about uh, their concerns about climate change. These are folks who have not historically been involved in politics or particularly politically active, but felt that this issue was important enough that they wanted to make uh, an impression on us as their elected representatives that they really are looking to us to take strong action. Well, since all three of us feel equally passionately about the topic, it was easy for us to say, we'll do, we'll do what it takes. So here in Olympia, we have several bills that are being considered. Just this morning, we voted out of the Ecology Committee the governor's cap and trade legislation. I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute. But uh, in the debate this morning, it became apparent that we need to underscore uh, a couple of things as we move forward. Lots of people believe the evidence that climate change is man-made, that we have impacted our environment in such a way that it is our responsibility to correct it. There are still quite a few skeptics, and I get emails from those folks who want to argue the science. And I say to them and to you, uh, maybe you're right. Uh, maybe climate change is a hoax. But we have another good reason to pursue these environmental bills, and that's this. Over the last 20 years, it has become apparent that we are horribly dependent on foreign governments for our fossil fuels. Our economy runs on fuel that we have to import from foreign and not very friendly nations. So as we go forward and try to act in protection of our environment and in protection of the climate that our children were inha will in inherit, it's also true that we need to be taking these actions in order to wean ourselves off what has become a very destructive reliance on uh, foreign fuel. So if you don't like one of those policy bases, which is to say if you're still one of those who doesn't believe that climate change is real, then look at it from that other policy basis. We're taking an action to make sure that America stays strong, economically independent, and um, not in hawk to foreign governments. My contact information ought to be running across the bottom of the screen at some point. If you'd like to contact me, I always love hearing from you. Um, have a good day and uh, over and out.